Portland is my team. And I, there are only two options here for me. It's Nasir Little or Anthony Simons, unless you're coming up with someone else. I'm going to go with Nasir Little. I Anthony Simons, it seems like there's a, a flip that switch, a switch that flips every like late March, early April type in the season, like that part of the schedule since the schedule has been different, where he just all of a sudden starts hitting these off the dribble jumpers. I just haven't seen him do anything else aside from that. Where it's, I just don't can't. think he's good. <laughs> I think he's anyone who can hit those tough jumpers has value, but it's it's like it's one dimensional multi dimensionality, if that makes any sense, because he can score from different levels in different ways, but he can't. He's also doing it at a point in the schedule when like teams are experimenting or resting for players. I haven't seen enough from him to be like, you know what, they should probably give him some backup point guard minutes. I think this year, more so than any other year. They're probably counting on him for that. Like you're not is that De- you have Dennis Smith Jr. Now they're but, very intentionally not bringing in players to fill that role, and they've never done that. And that's they've never done that. Yeah, that's yeah. just been something they don't do. But Nasir Little battled injuries, had the COVID stuff last year. Maybe the front court rotations more closed off now that they they do they did sign Marquise Chris, Cody Zeller, and they traded for Larry Nance Jr. Home run acquisition, by the way, love the Larry Nance Jr. But like, if you want to go the small ball five route. I think Little might be better equipped to defend Vives and Larry Nance Jr. at this point. He is also just like deceptively, when he's at full strength, just strong and feels like he can throw some guys around. So I, I feel like he gives you a lot of different options on defense. And if he's going to be a smaller guy who can score off catches, I don't want to say rolling to the basket, but maybe cutting to the basket or just being around the basket, making those hustle plays. And maybe this is the year where we see him stay healthy enough to kind of establish his. No, we know Nasir Little is not going to come in and shoot 80% on a bunch of pull-up jumpers, but he shot 35% from three last year on 1.7 attempts per game. Uh, Modest volume might be the the best way to frame that. So there still seems like there's the bandwidth to play him. It's it's smaller now that Larry Nance Jr. is there. And when you look at the makeup of the backcourt, I think you could argue, well, there's more of a runway for Simons. Even if you want to play Norman Powell as your de facto backup one, just because you have Powell, McCollum, and Lillard uh, across three positions, like there's just going to be inherently more minutes opening up there. And when you look at the other options, where it's a Ben McLemore, a Tony Snell, like there's just there's going to be more minutes open for Simons, I think, than Nasir Little. But because of his defensive value, if he can hit enough of his threes and then again make those hustle plays around the rim, I still remain kind of intrigued by his future in the league so i broke the rules and went with damian lillard here oh you established broke out as left portland (laughs) for another city that was a good good in the moment comeback no i mean obviously i'm not picking damian lillard i i also picked nasir little uh he he only exceeded 20 minutes in a game nine times this past season he averaged 10.8 points per game in those games He still has a lot of room to grow as a havoc wreaking defender. Uh, The deflections just haven't been there, which could partially be because of the illness and injuries last season, or because he's still getting used to defensive rotations in the NBA. He hasn't really been featured much as a slasher, but those are the two areas that he really excelled at in college. And those were expected to be his primary strengths coming into the NBA. So the fact that there should be room for growth there, and he's already contributing in other unexpected areas means that there's something more there. I also think it matters that per the athletics, Jason quick, he didn't participate in summer league because the coaching staff didn't think he needed to. And that's enough of a vote of confidence that I think he's going to play a significant role in this rotation. And if he does with minutes, he has a chance to be very productive. Yeah. I think the only question there is how, what's the extent of that opportunity after the Larry dad shooter trade, I guess you can count on Yusuf Nurkic being not healthy enough that there will be pockets of playing time available somewhere, but yeah, for sure.